Justin Barsha and Jordi Tixier take us for a lap around Redbud. A short downhill start straight into a 180 right that's banked to the outside, crossing the Fox hole shot line on the exit, immediately past pit lane into turn two, which is a 180 left. Heavy ground after overnight rain left the circuit a little bit heavy, but a dry line did appear through that turn three, dropping downhill for the first time, and then into turn four. Two or three rollers through there, and then short little straight into the black section, which is all wood chip mixed in. Really holds the moisture, a real difficult circuit on this racetrack. Heading uphill over the first Monster Energy triple uphill. A good long landing in which the riders can navigate that through this double apex left, if you like. The ground very hard underneath at this point of the racetrack. And then into the off-cambered section falls very steeply from right to left through this long sweeping right turn over a short little tabletop right in front of what will be a very busy part of the racetrack. We go left uphill into the main infield section. Again, banked to the outside. And then exit that Talladega style turn, dropping downhill into a bank left. And then we take this huge tabletop that links one part of the circuit to the other, past the Stars and Stripes on the left-hand side. The split section through this next left leads into an uphill wave section. Eight or nine waves through there. And as you can see from the water laying in the track, it's going to be very, very heavy for the MX2 riders. Over this city tabletop jump, dropping downhill, and then into the left-hand there. Again, split a single to the inside. You can go around the outside. One of the most famous hills in motocross history. A small jump, though, right before it, the uphill triple that is known as La Rocco's Leap. Quite steep on the landing, through the left, split through there as well, higher to the inside, and again on the right-hand side. This is the final turn. The Monster Energy finish line jump here. And when we land, it's a short straight into the final corner on the racetrack. Exit this left, and back down the start straight to start another lap.